All right, we want to get to the weather forecast, and you can feel it this morning mm -hmm. that temperature is just a little warmer than it has been. But and we also heard in the last hour. Did you hear it on the roof? The rain. Oh yeah, I actually went and peeked rain out the window because it was station. so loud. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Here in the studio, because you know weather people are not allowed to have <laughs> windows around them. Uh, here in the studio. <laughs> Didn't hear a thing. Oh. So I'm glad to know that you guys got to see that rain. Uh, it has been a really blustery day for us, too. We do have a front that is coming through, but we're going to hold here in the low 60s over the next couple of hours. And yes, we do have these passing rain showers to talk about. It is a little slow going on the East Shoreway right now uh, with a bit of an update for you on the traffic ongoing. There's an accident on 71 southbound after 480. That's off to the side already. And there are some wet roads farther to the east. You can see where we have these little green uh, boxes. That's an indicator of rain showers that are in the area. And so we take a look at the radar, you can see that we do have this rain that is coming down. Even a few rumbles of thunder were out over the lake. So uh, this is moving rather quickly. This is the beginning, though, of this front that's going to be passing through. And we may pick up a few more showers farther to the south as we head through the evening. But for the most part, I think this is kind of the grand hurrah as far as the rain goes. It has been a windy one for us, though. Wind gusts over 35 miles per hour at times today. The winds will slowly and just a little bit back off tonight, uh, but it's going to help to hold the temperatures up in the meantime. So we're still sitting in the low to mid 60s in Northeast Ohio. Our little front is just a smaller reflection of the larger storm system that's off to the north. You can see all the rain. Yes, even snow that is ongoing just north of the Great Lakes region. And then we kind of slide in with these clouds and few showers. So we're getting through this just fine. Don't complain too much. And as far as more rain goes, I don't think we have a ton of it in our forecast. We'll be partly cloudy overnight as these evening showers move out. It will still be very blustery and temperatures will hold in the 50s for the start of your day tomorrow. As far as your natural design, our hour by hour forecast goes, our rain chances will be moving through. We may still have a few sprinkles that hang around this evening, but we'll hold the 60s through the midnight hour and then the temperatures drop back so that by tomorrow morning we will be in the low to mid 50s with a mix of clouds and sunshine. The rest of election day looks to be kind of back and forth with clouds and sun can't rule out an isolated sprinkle, but I think for the most part we will stay dry and temperatures hold in the 50s. And then once the sun sets, we're going to find that mercury dropping back a bit. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Notice how we get right back up towards 60 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday. Another disturbance will be coming in, bringing us more rain chances. Clouds and sun expected for your Friday. Veterans Day looks beautiful right now with mostly sunny skies. But it will be a little cool. Temperatures only in the upper 40s. We're going to hold on to the upper 40s and low 50s into the beginning of next week as more sunshine is expected. So it's a bit of a trade-off. We'll have more news at 4 straight ahead.